Hey guys, and welcome back on board Agape. We just finished unboxing Xantrex's new Freedom XC Pro Marine. This is their 3000 watt, 150 amp inverter charger, but it also comes in a 2000 watt, 100 amp version. Now, since this is the Marine, it comes with a built-in NMEA 2000 network connector and a 50 amp transfer switch. The built-in 150 amp charger comes pre-programmed with a lithium setting, and on the inverter side, it can surge up to 6,000 watts for five seconds or more. This will help with the high startup loads of air conditioning or induction cooktops. It's also compatible with their Bluetooth remote panel, and it all fits in this little case weighing in at only 18 and a half pounds, making it the smallest and lightest in its class. So let's go ahead and pull out our old inverter charger and put in this new one. So before you begin any installation, it's a good idea to read the instructional manual all the way through and plan it step by step, making sure to gather any of the tools that you might need along the way. So every installation is gonna be a little bit different. For us on Agape, this one's gonna be very straightforward as our new inverter charger fits the same footprint as the one we're gonna remove. The first step in getting to work is to turn all the power off in the boat. Since the inverter charger is connected to both the DC and AC, we need to verify that everything is turned off. So every inverter installation needs a disconnect on the DC positive side. And this battery switch is it for us. So underneath this seat is where our inverter charger lives. So now that we've disconnected the power in the boat, we can go ahead and remove this case cover and just double check that we actually have killed all the power to the inverter charger. Then disconnect the wiring and pull it out. So just doing a dry fit real quick, this unit is about a half an inch taller than the old Freedom XC. So we're gonna have to slide it this way a little bit and we'll have to drill some new mounting holes. So now the mounting holes are drilled and the location's ready. But before we actually install it, we're gonna go ahead and connect our ground wire because it'll be on the bottom and inaccessible. And then once it's bolted up, we'll remove this panel and run our DC negative and positive, as well as our AC in and out, and our Bluetooth remote. So when you're doing these installs, it's also important to remember not only to get the right grade wire, as in tinned marine, but also that it's the right size wire for the run, especially when you're gonna be having something as big as a 3KW inverter. So first we'll connect the ground wire to the unit's chassis, and then we can go ahead and place the unit. So now with the unit bolted up, we're ready to go ahead and start our wiring. So we'll start with our DC wiring, and we'll run the negative first, and then we'll run our positive. So with the DC side connected, just make sure that your DC positive is connected to the positive terminal and that the negative is connected to the negative. And once that's double checked, you can go ahead and switch gears to the AC side and find your AC input. Ours are labeled, this is our input. And then we wanna make sure that we have our white neutral, black live, and green ground. This is the US wiring code. And then the same thing for our AC out. We'll just plug it into the switches. I like those. When they close, you can really hear them. And then they're super solid. So we'll add a little strain relief to these wires and bring them up here, just how we did the old ones. And that way as the boat's moving and vibrating, 
these aren't going to be rubbing on anything. And then we have our uh, Bluetooth remote panel. We'll plug that in, put the cover back on, and she's ready to go. So now we're ready to power back up the boat and test our installation. So although the inverter charger comes with a display on it, we have the remote Bluetooth panel, so we might as well use it. So now the inverter's powered up, and we can go ahead and turn the AC power back onto the boat. So now the panel shows that we are inverting. We're taking from our battery bank, inverting to AC power. To pair the remote panel, just hold the escape button until you see two horizontal flashing bars. Next, open Xantrex's FXC control app on your device. Turn on the Bluetooth and select your inverter charger. So now with the new inverter installed and the remote panel uh, linked to the tablet, we can go ahead and set our battery type and any other custom features. With the wiring complete, it's time to test the install. Since we're at Anchor here in Morea, we're going to use a Honda 2000 to test the charger. So right now we're putting 113 amps into our battery bank which is pretty incredible. That pretty much maxes out the little Honda. So this is the Honda putting out 15 amps AC coming into the XC Pro, and the charger is putting 104 amps into the battery bank right now. It can do 150 for the lithium batteries, but the little Honda can only put out 105. Now it's time to test the inverter. We're gonna use a heat gun and Rachel's hairdryer to test our install. Combined, they'll draw a little over 3,000 watts. Ready? You ready? All right, let's give it a go. So heat gun and hairdryer. Nine watts, 3,481 watts. That was over five seconds. Hey guys, thanks for watching this quick installation video. And thank you for following along as we continue to explore the world powered by Xantrex.